Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I will explain how you can get your best solo cash cup placement. Now, the amount of supporters on my creator code dropped, so I need all of you to keep using code just a call to keep four uploads a week coming. Thank you so much for all the support and enjoy the video. Now, let's talk about getting your best placement in the solo cash cup. A lot of people usually don't really train for a cash cup and expect to magically get a good placement. Others play a few solo customs and call it a day. In my own experience, only one Warming up before a cash cup is not enough to perform well if you're not the best at the game. Trust me, I know from my own solo cash cup experience. Well, that was an amazing cash cup. Now what has helped me? Playing arena like it's a solo cash cup. Yeah, remember that one video I did for content where I played arena like the solo cash cup? That was actually insanely good practice. The game you're seeing right now is one I played yesterday night in Contenders League and it was as stacked as a regular solo cash cup starting game. Now the concept of this is very simple. You set a timer for yourself of 3 hours whenever you're ready up for your first arena game. Then you give yourself 10 games and you have to stick to those 10 games at all costs. Restarting the timer and not counting a game because you died of spawn will not give you the right practice. You have to make it as realistic as possible because this will also happen in an actual solo cash cup. So yes, you will not only get used to the pressure of time and only having 10 games, but also to tilting which you then will be able to prevent in the actual solo cash cup. Also, using this format in arena will give you an idea if your season 6 drop spot is worth it for a solo cash cup. It might be amazing for high kill games and good loot in arena, but how often do you die in that location to get a few of those games? If the risk is higher than the reward, then consider switching drop spots. The solo cash cups in season 6 are really focused on placement so it is not worth dying of spawn 5 games to get one really good one. Now talking about placement, be sure to track your points. I would recommend recording your 10 games and then using the point format from the solo cash cup to see how many points you would have gotten in total. This way it gives you a pretty decent representation of where you're at. However, please note that arena lobbies don't get progressively better the more points you get. So it will never be a perfectly accurate measurement. This routine is mostly done by me to get used to the first few games of the cash cup and this will make it the perfect warm up on the day itself. And so now that we are going towards the end game in our gameplay footage, I want to talk about about a way to get your practice routine even better. When you play this fake cash cup in arena, practice what you need to improve on by VOD reviewing previous tournaments. I know that most of you VOD review tournaments, but never practice to improve the mistakes you make. I was the same way, until I tried it with this new routine. There is not a better situation to train this in as this will transfer over to your actual solo cash cups. For example, at the beginning of this session I told myself that I want to go for high ground more to win more games. I was always scared to go for high ground because I felt like it would cost me the game, even in arena. However, now that I started practicing it in the first game of the session, it went a lot better. You will be able to see that the further we get into the video. However, my point is that I will now take this newfound confidence with me in the solo cash cup of Saturday. Day. And it might result in more wins and thus placing better on the leaderboard. Find your mistakes and improve on them in this routine. Now my final tip is to play the same as you would in a solo cash cup. Don't W key everybody, don't storm fight, get a good position in zone, stay ahead of zones and take smart fights. Even if it's just arena. There is no point in warming up and practicing one playstyle to then use a completely different one in the solo cash cup. You won't be prepared as well and it could lead you to making the same decisions which could ruin your tournament. With all of this being said, let me show you how I played out the rest of this game and use the tips I just talked about. Yes, and it goes back. Let's go.
Oh, oh okay, fair enough. GG. Unfortunately, I didn't win that game, but I still got second place with nine kills. Normally, I would have never got that far in a pretty decent lobby like that. All I have to do now is quickly get to Champions League and try my best in the solo cash cup. I really hope you found this new routine and the tips helpful, since they have massively helped me as well. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video and please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the upcoming video.